Antonia Bright, in your speech in front of the U.S. Embassy, you stressed the importance of unity. You said that there is one struggle, the struggle of black Americans, of people of color here in the U.K. and all over Europe, and especially the battle also for refugees. Okay, how to coordinate all these uh, uh, battles uh, and uh, which strategy? Yeah, I think that people around the world are already identifying because if you've got a struggle against oppression, you're angry about the system and what it's doing to yourself, your family, you kind of can identify with people's struggles around the world. You can identify with your sisters and brothers if they are refugees or if they're facing police brutality and harassment or if they're here or if they're in the US. It is the same struggle. So that connection exists because it is what it is and if you know that if other people who are oppressed win then you win so that's the movement we want to build from your viewpoint uh, what's uh, new now in the united states uh, is it uh, uh, racism growing or maybe uh, people of color don't accept uh, racism again and now they fight back much more than in the past the crisis of the ruling elites is growing and the anger um, you know the, the impact of that on the community is stronger the racism yeah it's been there um, but the urgency and the but maybe racism was already in the past and now there is a, a stronger attitude by other people to fight back. Uh, but the divide and rule, division over race has all, always been sustained. So, the, for example, you can see it in all the plethora of different immigration statuses that you're never quite an equal citizen, you know, that can be taken away. So you, if you're non-white in Britain, then you are uh, disadvantaged by that already. So the divide and rule has been there, but the political crisis for, all, for the British, British elite, the European elite, the American elite, they don't have an answer to the crisis that the, the system's created. And so people are looking for answers and they're uh, more politicized, there's more political will. And we have to organize it in, the, in a positive direction for equality, for a fight against racism. Brexit will uh, disadvantage more white immigrants than uh, others. Uh, but um, what uh, will be the fallout in general of this uh, process uh, and especially about uh, the refugees who are not uh, European uh, citizens who, and so should not be affected but what will be however the political fallout? Yeah because w our slogan has been no fortress Europe and no fortress Britain because in either direction that the vote had gone the attack on uh, uh, refugees, asylum seekers, migrants from around the world is something that was taking off. And so the Leave vote has done more to embolden the confidence of the far right and the people who to conduct their racist views more openly. But the racism was going to be true with either result. And so our struggle is about building a movement for a different kind of Europe and a different kind of society that is, you know, based on um, real equality and dignity and a fighting against racism, fascism and all of those reactionary uh, forces. Hands up, the shit. 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 Is that the song? Is that the song? Hold up. Let's uh, talk about the meaning of this uh, for London, for the British society, especially in this uh, political moment. 
Black Lives Matter because it's about solidarity for justice, both for the people that have been murdered in the United States, but it's also important for us that we stand in a solidarity that makes sure that the racism, Islamophobia, the attacks on refugees, all these things line up about standing out against racism. And we need a movement of solidarity. That's why we're here. Black Lives Matters because we don't want people to lose their life at the hands of the racist police. Do you think that uh, racism has increased in recent times? Also, for example, in the United States, where we have, uh, a, for the first time, a president of uh, color? Or do you think that now people of color are not, uh, uh, cannot accept uh, some uh, abuses, some attacks, uh, some uh, racism that maybe in the past they uh, were more available to accept? I think that black people are much more confident to oppose racism because both black and white people oppose racism in a more collective way. But I also believe that the crisis, the search for jobs, the search for housing, the economic social crisis in general crisis has also increased. Um, we've seen it in this country, the rise of UKIP, the rise of Donald Trump. We've seen um, the attempt to use racism to divide and rule. And I think that people are consciously doing that. And that's the reason why it's important that we support the Black Lives Matters movement but also that we make the links between common cause by what people have because it's the only way we will overcome. We march for civil rights and now we have to march for total rights that people should not be gunned down on the street without any form of recourse to those people, those guilty men, being brought to justice.